Hey everyone, welcome to the Eternal Gathering. The Gathering here with an 8 uh, Piney deck tech here. We've got Fire's Friends deck. So um, basically, it's going to be um, using um, your enchantments of Fire's Invention. And with Fire's Invention, uh, playing all your spells. Uh, so basically, first few turns, you're just trying to find Fire's of Invention. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be playing uh, Narset Part of Veils. Um, and to ferry time reveler uh, to kind of draw into it if you can. Uh, you've also got other cards like Omen of the Sea uh, to also draw into, and then you've got sweepers uh, like Deafening Clarion uh, to destroy uh, the opponent's creatures. Uh, very reminiscent to the standard deck. Uh, I've also gone with some other planeswalkers to finish off the game, like Elspeth, Sun's Champion, uh, to be able to create a lot of token creatures. Uh, Jace. Um, I made this before to Fairy Time Roller came out. I think Fairy Time Roller might be a, a good option to put into the deck. Uh, but Jace is another way to find cards um, and also can uh, reduce your opponent's uh, creatures' attacks um, if needed. Uh, ancient Way coming through here for any uh, aggro kind of matchups, um, gaining that 2 life uh, for the plus 1. Uh, you can also uh, remove creatures with the minus 2. And then Teferi here of Dominaria, also another wing con, another way to draw into cards, and also uh, just a really good card overall. Creatures wise, we've got Cavalier of Gales uh, to be able to also, again, look for cards that you need um, to finish off the game. It's also itself a finisher. Fail Wishes to uh, go to Cyborg, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Realm Cloak Giant, uh, a way to destroy creatures uh, for 5 mana, and also a creature in itself. So it is removal and a, uh, a creature that can win you the game. Uh, Supreme Verdict, uh, other form of removal. Uh, we got also uh, 27 lands, uh, playing a lot of, uh, I guess, different colours. So we need to have uh, some really uh, diverse lands here. We've got Castle Ardenvale and Castle Ventress. Uh, Castle Ardenvale, another win condition. Uh, Castle Ventress also helping to uh, scry to uh, mid to late game to find our uh, win cons. Uh, then you've got all the other cards that uh, make colours uh, for this deck. It's obviously a three colour deck. It is um, red, white, and blue uh, colours. And we've got Interplanet Beacon, another way of uh, just gaining life against aggro decks. Uh, sideboard gets uh, really interesting. So uh, with Fair Wishes, you're able to get a card from the sideboard, uh, as long as it's a non-creature card uh, from outside of the game for the granted. Uh, and we got Detention Sphere to obviously take away anything that might be problematic. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum to bring stuff back that have been destroyed by your opponents, um, like Planeswalkers, and also uh, creatures that you, they might have killed. Uh, then you got your Possibility Storm, which is a very interesting card. It uh, combos with Teferi uh, Time Reveler. So if you have Teferi Time Reveler out, uh, each opponent cannot cast spells um, unless they're at sorcery speed. So what you do is you put this out and have a possibility storm out at the same time. Uh, then whenever a player casts a spell, then they exile it and then uh, they get another spell and put that spell on a stack. But because the fairy is worded that way, they can't put those spells onto a stack. So basically just exiles their spell whenever they play a spell. Uh, therefore locking them out of the game. Uh, leaving whatever they have on their board uh, as their only way of, of winning the game. So if you got them with nothing on board and you play your Teferi Time Reveler and then your Possibility Storm, that is a game winning uh, combo right there uh, because they no longer can play anything and you can play anything you want. Um, and just there, it's GG, unless they've got some way of uh, killing Teferi at that right moment when you cast Possibility Storm or if they have creatures on the battlefield or ready to uh, be able to kill Teferi. Rest in peace against any graveyard hate. Uh, Ruinous Ultimate, just a one side sweeper. Uh, then we've got Sarkin the Masterless. Uh, if we've got enough Planeswalkers out, uh, we can bring Sarkin in and then we can just make them all 4-4 uh, dragons and we're flying and attacking for the win. Um, it can also create creatures uh, if needed. And then the Elder Spell uh, can you know, you destroy any problematic Planeswalkers or you can use it to kill your own Planeswalkers to ultimate one of your uh, planeswalkers like Teferi Hero of Dominaria, uh, Narset, um, Elspeth, Sun's Champion, or Jace. Um, so, sideboard, uh, if we go into game two and game three, we can 
easily switch out to the fires of invention plan and bring in dream trawler, uh, detention spheres and mystical disputes and then also uh, from dropping the fires we can also drop a couple other cards like fair wishes uh, so the fair wishes and fires will go out for seven and then we bring in uh, dream trawler, detention sphere and uh, mystical dispute and play more of a control kind of deck and that way we can win uh, through control methods, so just control and board, bring in our Dream Trawler, um, Cavalier of Gales uh, for the win, or the Planeswalkers still going through that. Um, <clears throat> you also got Hushbringer against the Demi Inverter decks, uh, so there's a one of in there. Hopefully you can find it uh, with the amount of card draw that you do get in this in this deck. There's a lot of card advantage and a card selection, so hopefully if you bring that in, you can uh, utilize it. In game two, by finding it pretty quickly, um, Mystical Dispute also could be brought in against under control kind of variant decks, and you can use this to try and counter um, their counters when you try to play your fires from veteran. Otherwise, um, it's pretty good deck. Uh, we go here on the Entity Goldfish uh, just to kind of get a better view of the deck itself there. Um, so 6 1 main board, 15 sideboard, like I usually play. Uh, MCG Goldfish says 286 for paper. Um, mana curve wise, look, it really has no one drops. Uh, but you mostly you're playing a lot of three drops and two drops. And then once you get to your Fires of Invention, you can play basically two spells a game um, equal to the amount of lands that you control. So, plays nine mythics, 37 rares, uh, seven. Uncommons and three commons in the main, and in the sideboard you have 12 rares and three uncommons. Uh, average CMC is 3.5 uh, 6. Um, so there you have it. Uh, it's a very, very good deck, very competitive. Um, I've utilized it a few times now uh, at just my LGS, and it has worked uh, really well coming first uh, about two or three times now uh, with this deck. Uh, it is a slow, kind of grinding deck. Um, that can frustrate your opponents. Uh, Teferi, Time Reveler, and uh, possibly something, something that people don't see, uh, especially in game one. Uh, you can you can play that, or game two if you don't get to in game one, uh, and then just, just show them that, and then explain the rules to them, and it basically uh, you can win the game pretty easily with that combination. It's a pretty cool combo to have in Piney, um, and it just shows you another reason why Teferi is so good, and still my pick as to our uh, Probably a card that should be bad in, in Piney and probably Modern. Uh, it's really, really strong uh, card. Um, but that's uh, something that we spoke about before. And it hasn't been changed. So he's here to stay, it seems. And uh, let's use him and, and try and use him to, to try and win uh, with that common combination that we have there with Possibility Storm. Um, guys, like and subscribe. I am going to be uh, putting out some more deck decks uh, as... I uh, go through these next couple of days or weeks. Um, I've still got some uh, box openings, uh, Pioneer for Mass Pieces coming up as well. So uh, just like, subscribe, share um, as much as you can. Uh, hopefully getting to the 100 subscribers um, would be really, really cool to see. All right, guys, everything on the stack uh, has resolved. Uh, and good games, everyone. G'day, everyone. It's the Gatherer here. Thanks for checking out the channel, and if you live in Australia and love Magic the Gathering, then our affiliate Facebook group, Josh and Pat's MTG Bazaar, is a place to go to purchase awesome singles and steal product for bargain prices. It's a page where you can bid daily for the cards you need, or for the cards that you don't, but can't resist as the thrill of the hunt is too much to pass. Check them out in the link below.